Just last week, we witnessed here in this building, in the Cannon Building, uh, Democrat members of Congress lead in radical, leftist, communist, and pro-Hamas terrorist groups in what we would call an insurrection. If January 6th was an insurrection, this was absolutely an insurrection of terrorism. They brought them in this building. We have watched, just as you mentioned a few minutes ago in your testimony, we have watched Iran's treatment of women, which is horrific, but I want you to know it aligns with the Biden administration's treatment of women. While they replace women in our sports, in jails, in our women's clinics with trans men and say that these men that pose as women have the same rights as we do, and they absolutely do not. And we have the Biden administration. Joe Biden, the president of the United States, wants $100 million given to Gaza, which is Hamas. That money will absolutely be given to Hamas terrorism. Ironically, $100 million is the exact same amount that Iran gives to Hamas every single year. There's so many similarities there. It is unbelievable. In 2014, during the Obama administration, the Iranian Foreign Ministry established what they called an Iran Experts Initiative. The purpose of this initiative was to build ties with a global network of prominent academics and researchers, including, the, including, to, including in the U.S. to improve Iran's image on global security issues. They have quite an image. As stated in your testimony, at least two of the people on the foreign ministry's list were or, were or became top aides to Robert Malley, the Biden administration's special envoy on Iran. Mr. Greenway, isn't it true that Iran has succeeded in obtaining unprecedented access to and influence over the U.S. administration's policy toward Tehran? It would appear so. It's in a, a twist of irony. We've the Biden administration has employed those under the control or influence of Iran to negotiate with Iran. Isn't it true that at least three people selected by the Islamic Republic's foreign ministry were senior aides to Robert Malley, the Biden administration's special envoy on Iran? At least three, and he was pulled from his former position because of his relationship with Hamas. And that's why he lost his security clearance, is that correct? Insofar as we know that. Isn't it true that former member of Robert Malley's Iran negotiating team, Ariana Tabatabi, was in close contact with the Iranian regime for years? She cleared foreign travel documents and talking points, as far as we know, Congressman. Hmm. Isn't it true that she participated in regime-backed Iran experts initiative, which was stood up by Iran, Iranian foreign ministry officials in the spring of 2014? Yes, ma'am. Is it your understanding that the Iran Experts Initiative was launched to bolster Iran's image on security matters like its nuclear program? It is. Is it true that Iran chants death to Israel and death to America? They do. Wow. Uh, so Marjorie Taylor Greene is basically letting us know that the Biden regime and the people under his purview are simps for Iran and they are funding Hamas. And when this whole crisis first occurred, you know, we saw Biden saying nothing about Iran. They are a part and parcel of the problem. And if you look to how this all occurred, Biden shot the Keystone pipeline. We were energy independent. We had our own oil. We were exporting our energy. Now, because of the pipeline closing and other forms of energy in our country, put under Biden, we are buying energy and oil from places like Iran and Russia and other countries are buying oil from Iran because we are not exporting it. This is giving them money. We did a prisoner swap with them that emboldened Iran. We released some of their funds. They say, oh, we have it under control. It's not going to terror. Bull-ish. Bull. There is nothing true about that. Then why haven't they reeled it back in? The money they gave, they could have put a freeze on it. They didn't do that. Iran is funding terror against Jews, and Hamas is an evil terrorist organization. And all of these people that are protesting here in the United States, just know you are supporting Hamas and terrorism. And if you think they only hate Jews, you are stupid. 
They hate Christians. They hate Americans. They hate our way of life. They will kill each and every one of us. And if you think something else, you have been brainwashed by these liberal institutions for way too long and you need to wake up. And anyone that's going to vote for Biden again is an absolute moron if they cannot connect these dots. They must have serious cognitive dissonance.